Hi everyone, Damien Fates here, and this is my long and uncut do-nothing playthrough of Batman The Telltale series, where I chose to do nothing during the many dialogue, combat, and storyline choices in the game. This is a very long video, so apart from this intro, there won't be any commentary from me. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I'll see you at the end. Bye! probably pissed he didn't get his landslide fair and square. Hey, Harvey's going to be okay. You don't know that. I just... I keep wondering. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Harvey's your best friend. I'm nothing to you. I just don't get it. Fine, forget it. I don't think I can do this. What are you talking about? I don't want to see what... I just can't, okay? I have to go. I'm sorry. Just go in without me. I know what you must think of me, but I can't go in there. I can't look at him and pretend I didn't have anything to do with why he's here. Please, Bruce. Don't tell him I was here. I don't think he'd understand. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Mayor Dent was sworn in from his hospital bed. Word is he's still recovering from major hey, injuries Bruce. sustained at the event. A shame it's not a little closer to Halloween, right? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. Could be fine. <laughs> I shouldn't get my hopes up, I guess. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary, uh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Guess I can't blame her, the way I look now. It sounds pathetic to say it out loud, waiting on a girl, but there it is. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Look at me, preaching it. What a great guy you are while I go and get my face bashed in. It's easy. Every news station is showing it. Regurgitating the same old sound bites. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. Yeah, I can. I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. I won't let them make Gotham afraid. The tonight speech, they'll know where I stand. Wait, wait, wait tonight? I, I thought you were supposed to be recovering. My assistant is on her way to pick me up. With the election, I was able to talk the hospital into releasing me early. <sighs> Not that they're too happy about it. All the doctors keep telling me to take it easy. But how can I? Well, stay in the chair, Mr. Dent. Oh, don't overexert yourself, Mr. Dent. That's not really how I operate. Come on, you do the same in my position. Which is why I won't even try to tell you to not look into those tapes. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know 
and that debate was hard on you too. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot, Hill admitting to having both of them killed, it's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Look, I, uh, I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. You can... you can stay if you want. Nah, it's fine. Please, I don't want to be here either. You, uh... You rest up, Harth. Thanks, Bruce. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, finally, a friendly face. He's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. Maybe your presence is a good omen. I'm ready for life back on the outside. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. <clears throat> every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. It sounds pathetic to say it out loud, waiting on a girl, but there it is. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. No one else even did a damn thing. Yeah, I can... I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. I won't let them make Gotham afraid. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy. To go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? I'm not gonna be able to take it easy. I mean, how am I supposed to do that? I know what you're thinking, but rest isn't gonna help. I just need to keep busy. I'll get back to work. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. 
I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot. Hill admitting to having both of them killed. It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Look, I, uh, I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. You can... you can stay if you want. Nah, it's fine. Please, I don't want to be here either. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone's stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I, I'm just glad it got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce, just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. She's a good cop. One of my best. I'm not trying to tell you how to work here. Please, we need your help. I need your help. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I never heard of them before. Then that debate. Oh, they're tearing up the entire city. Well, I wasn't expecting all the answers now, but an answer would have been nice. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? Don't know why I thought I'd get an answer. All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance. 
But seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Like X-ray peering. I'll think of a better name. Yeah, you're welcome. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Headed over to Dent. Your guys are gonna have to handle Montoya. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. We gotta hurry! Batman's on his way! Relax. We'll be ready for him. Listen, I don't want any trouble. They're too late, Dent. <laughs> Nothing the cops can do that we won't know about. Including every time Gordon uses you as his errand boy. Everyone all right? Yeah, you? Sorry, dumb question. This is the second time you've helped me. Thank you. It's absolute chaos out there. The children of Arkham chose one hell of a night to strike out. Thanks again. I owe you one. I'll call us a cab. Batman. Be safe out there. The mayor's on your side. Heads up. They got three black and whites in it for the handoff. Gordon's with them. They knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how.
I need an update on the construction site. Bringing it up now. Stay down! We're coming to you! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. even been here, Lieutenant. I did this. Shouting about it isn't going to do him any good. Sure could have used your help ten minutes ago. Nice work. Just stroll in to survey the damage. That's what we need. Tell me what happened. They got away. Took one of our guys with them. Go ahead. Say it. This is my fault. I followed them. I got ambushed. And now one of our own is stuck with those monsters. I got the force involved. Cost other people their lives. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Stop! You didn't- I'll make this right. I promise. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? It's been compromised. Gordon, come on. You copy. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. <laughs> Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose.
It's over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I... I'm just glad we're fighting on the same side. I don't know what I was thinking, coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. I don't take that lightly, you know. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. And the chatter sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's gotta help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Debra, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's too many of them! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there! On my way. Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that. Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You like to see them hurt, don't you? They're not dead, but they wish they were. At least this one died quick. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command, command here. here. What is, what it, is Gordon? it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> I thought I knew the worst of it, but I'm continually proven wrong. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it crack soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. <laughs> Oh. 
almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Your father, he... He was wise beyond his years. And Martha. She was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to... dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... I know it must seem like the whole world is turning against you, but I'm not. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I'm on your side, Bruce. I need you to remember that. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. You can't afford to lose their resources. I'd like to be optimistic, but from where I'm sitting it doesn't look good. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? 
So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Really? Nothing? You're not as fun as you used to be. The thing is, this back door they're using, I'm the one who built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. I'll try to keep an eye out for any suspicious activity. Maybe they'll get sloppy and give themselves away. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. I always wonder why he had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting.
Mr. Wayne. Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. Are you hearing me, Bruce? You're no longer the CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. <sighs> Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. Don't be like that, Bruce. It's for the best. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Bruce, this is happening whether you like it or not. Oh, don't worry now. I'm going to take good care of this place. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present? Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Well then, I'll help you out with that. Mm. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. It happened, didn't it? 
They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. I don't want to stick around and see it fall into the wrong hands. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. Maybe I can salvage this somehow. I'll grab what I can from the lab, set up shop somewhere else. It won't be as nice as what I've got here, but I can't stick around. Keep that drive safe. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. I'm sorry, Bruce. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir.
Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Sorry, Bruce. I've just been pretty shaky recently. Nerves, you know. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. Can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. Like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? But we worked hard to this point. Seems a waste not to bask in the victory. Even if it was handed to me. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? Come on, Bruce, say something! There's something you're not telling me. Feels like everyone is keeping secrets from me. You, the police. I can't afford to be kept in the dark right now. The children of Arkham. They, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there. The back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. Everywhere I go, I am terrified. I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. They are running rampant in the streets. My God, they've gone after me twice now. No one is safe, Bruce. I'm not safe. I can't take them on alone. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. Just think, imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. Give him the authority to do what he wants. No more kid gloves. Who needs law and order when you've got Batman enacting justice? Especially once he's been sanctioned by the mayor. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. And they won't see it coming. We know what's best for Gotham. What's best for Harvey? Sorry. Sorry, Bruce. I... I did not mean that. I just, uh... I, I guess I lost myself for a moment. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud. That's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. It won't happen again. I'm fine, Bruce, I promise. <sighs> See you around, Bruce.
an interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Though Ms. Vale went through quite an ordeal at the debate, she might not want to speak with Bruce Wayne right now. However, she may be eager to talk to Batman. He did save her life after all. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Hello? You... you don't have to say anything. I, I've got a pretty good guess. Batman, right? I've been meaning to thank you, what you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown, Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. Especially not when you're a reporter. Okay, gonna make me do the teeth pulling then. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. <sighs> Fine. Will you talk now? Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. All I did was write it down. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. And if you want my honest opinion, you're wasting your time with the children of Arkham. You should be looking at Bruce Wayne. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. No investigation. Why is that? Look, I came here to meet you. I didn't have to do that. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know.
I can see where this is going. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Let me buy. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, just don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site, shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This depot is pretty centrally located. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. 
Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. It's all here. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. They did have a price on her head after all. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. <laughs> Death might be preferable. Now oh, screw this. Train's ready! Move up!
myself, I decide when this ends. <laughs> Sometime, Batman. You can't protect Gotham from itself. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. Saddest thing is, they don't even see the smoke. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Just like the other liars. All talk, no action. Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats.
Stay here, okay? Just don't move. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? <sighs> what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. Don't get me wrong. It was one hell of a fight. Just not one I want to clean up after. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. Good. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. Whatever. No such thing as a fresh start, anyway. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. <laughs> I don't think she's intimidated. Nice try, though. Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something, just beneath the surface. You either admit it to yourself, or you learn it the hard way. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world, and won't let anyone else see. It's exhausting, isn't it? You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? A high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really.
I guess this is good night then. Then you look around and see nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Thanks, Bats. Hmm. Tell me you want this. No. No, I don't. Sorry, I... Must have misread things. I thought... Never mind. Let me go get you a blanket. She's not hissing at you anymore. Hooray for small miracles. Another drink? Never run into anyone else who did this, you know? You can't be Batman all the time. So what's a night off look like? What do you do when you take off the mask? <sighs> Never mind. It was a stupid question anyway. I guess this is good night then. Good night, Selena. I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? <clears throat> A 
You're doing it again. What? That creepy stare thing. I'm starving. <sighs> I'll just stay here while you figure it out. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything before you think about putting it in your mouth. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... if you were... The least you could do is say something. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Well. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Nothing happened. <laughs> I never said it did. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Do what you will. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. <sighs> Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. Looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. <laughs> Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce? Tell me what is going on. I knew it! Hey, easy. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you! I don't care about you. No one does. I should have come. Oh, stupid! Stop talking. I don't belong to you. Fine if you want to be disappointed. But I don't have to feel bad about it. And neither does Bruce. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. And neither can you. Even he sees the truth in it. I'm only gonna ask one more time. I'm not going anywhere! I'm sorry. 
What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. Just stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. And they aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who oh, am I? Yes, you are. Or I could just throw you out myself. Your choice. Jesus, Harvey. Of course, I gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't, they turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? <sighs> no. <sighs> He's not gonna stop. Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. What are you talking about? That's... It's no one. It's just me. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. We should call someone. No. No, you don't have to. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. So sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. <sighs> Thought it would be a while before I had to move again. <sighs> That's what I get for wishful thinking. <sighs> and I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, that means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry.
Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. Or, you know, just stand there. Up to you. You better get going. Guess it's gonna be a while. Yeah. You, uh, you stay safe, all right? Same to you. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. Hopefully, you find your voice at the podium. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. This really does have all the elements. <sighs> it's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, and taking everything that's yours. The and that's not even a punchline. No, dear heart. Not even close. We have no one's going to follow you around and take pictures and now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. Now that's it. Just reflect on all that for a bit. As representative, this as is just a first Wayne step towards making things right. Well, like to Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. You find it out of witty retorts, Bruce. Has the golden boy finally lost his shine? Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? Last offer, Bruce. Fine, suit yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Just read the bloody script, Bruce. One moment, folks. Start talking, or I'll call security to haul you off.
Bruce, please. Oh, silence isn't gonna save you now. Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Ah, oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, he has the press to seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. It must be quite hard. So let Ignore me if you like. Go. I'm not going away. It's not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. You're very That's done. <coughs> taken over by another. I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the former beauty of You feel that? Park. That's the drug taking hold of you. And forgotten. Don't fight. A testament it. to the terrible things that have happened to Gotham. <laughs> We've all recently Good. learned of the dark secret our city has. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Barker. And you already know the penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? This video was sponsored in part by my supporters on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting more videos like this one, then check out the link in the description below and on screen right now. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more, your support is always appreciated, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!